So let's talk about some different ways that we can represent fractions. I want to start today by thinking with you about how to represent fractions using visual models. A visual model is just a picture. So you could draw pizzas, you could draw um, stars in a set. You could represent fractions using visual models in a lot of ways. Very common ways to represent fractions using visual models involve different shapes. So one of the most common ways is probably this one. Just draw a simple square. They're easy to divide into equal parts. Remember, a fraction has to have equal parts. In this case, um, today we're going to be working with one third. You can see this is divided into three equal parts. One of them is shaded blue. Therefore, we have one third. Another very common way to represent fractions is with circles, especially when you're talking about thirds and six, things that might be kind of pie shaped. So for thirds, lots of times kids like to think of a peace sign and that helps them divide the fraction into equal parts. Again, in this fraction, we have three equal parts. One is shaded, so this represents one third. Very similar to that circle is a triangle. Again, you take, take the triangle, divide it into those three equal parts. You can see how they look a lot like the parts in the circle. One is colored, three equal parts, so that is one third. And a final shape that we use, and this one is probably the most common, it has a lot of different names. Some people call it a strip model, some people call it a tape model, some people call it a bar fraction. In any case, it's just a long, skinny rectangle. And the beauty of this as a model is that you can make the rectangle as long as you need to to represent whatever fraction. It's a very versatile model. So again, in this particular case, we have one part shaded out of three or one third. 